piece of paper. We're gonna play our game. So everyone take a piece of paper. Um, start on this side, looks like this. Write your name. My name is, <laughs> fill in the blank. First name, your last name, the date. And then here's, then you pause. And we're gonna play a fun little game. And we're gonna pretend we're all, you're, you've been stuck on a desert island. See your little desert island? All right, you've been stranded on a desert island for 90 days. And you've had no makeup or skincare products in those 90 days. We are looking rough, okay? So it's taking its toll. But we just found out, you got a message in a bottle that they're coming to rescue you. <laughs> and so CNN is on their way, and or the Coast Guard's on their way, and CNN and all the major news networks, all the videos are all on there. And so your picture is about to be broadcast all over to millions of people, and you've had no makeup or skincare for 90 days. So they're going to give you one skincare item that you can have to prepare to look fabulous for your big national news debut. All right, so what would your one skincare, my must have skincare item? Now we just, this list right here, cleanser, moisturizer, microdermabrasion, abrasion, eye cream, satin lips, you know, pick a skincare item. So write down what your one skincare item would be that you would want to get ready for your big debut on the news, all right? So just write one, I must have skincare item is, and you fill in the blank. And then you get one glamour item, one color item. Lipstick, mascara, eyeliner. What would be your one thing to get ready um, that when it comes to color? So just fill in what that would be. So write your must-have skincare item, a must-have glamour item. A must-have skincare item would be moisturizer because I have super dry skin. Or the micro abrasion on it. It's a toss-up between those two. It'd be pretty tough. Um, and then the glamour item, I think I'd have to have mascara because it's rough without mascara, right? Um, I would be dead without it. So all right, your mascara. So here's what you get to do. And Mary Kay, um, we don't advertise. You don't see Mary Kay, you know, plaster all over the place. Our advertisement is you. Uh, and so the greatest compliment that you can give me is to pass, is to share me with some girlfriends. And so what you get a chance to do is y'all have fun, right? You've had fun, you got pampered, you learned some new things. Uh, so you get a chance to pull out your cell phone, you are allowed to cheat, <laughs> and use your cell phone. Um, and you get a chance to refer a few of your girlfriends to get a facial and a makeover, just like you got here today, and a gift certificate. So they're gonna get a gift certificate from you. So you get good brownie points for being a good girlfriend, okay? Um, and so we're gonna have a little race, and the first person to put 20, now you don't start yet, there's always someone's trying to start early. No starting yet. The first person to get to 20 is going to win a special fun free gift. And when you get to 20, you say, I love Mary Kay. Woo! And that person gets their <laughs> glamour item that you just wrote down for free tonight. Okay? So you get that bonus, that glamour item for free that you just wrote down. Now, in order to write someone down, no one's writing yet, right? They have to qualify, all right? So there's certain qualifications they must read for you to be able to write them on this paper. Uh, number one, they must be female. Um, you might have some guys that would like to make it, but they don't count for this, okay? So it must be female. Number two, they need to be 18 or older. And number three, live within an hour's drive, okay? So live, you know, within the general area. Now, the other quality, it's not on here, but it's the most important one because they all have to have this quality to be able to write them down, is they all must be nice. Your mean friends don't deserve it. <laughs> so here's what's going to happen is I'm going to shoot her a text. Hey Susie, this is Rachel. Um, I met your friend Angie and she said she arranged for me to give you a pampering session and a gift certificate. Let me know if you're interested. That's it. All right. I'm not going to bug them. I'm not going to harass them. I have hundreds of people. So I will send her one little message and if she's not interested, it's no big deal. But almost always they respond and say, oh my word, that was so sweet of Angie to think of me. I had no idea. Uh, I would love to get some pampering. And so then they love to have an appointment we get together. Um, so we're going to have a little race. So you can start and just put their name and phone number. Make sure your writing is legible. <laughs> I know we're trying to race fast. The first person who gets a 20, like I said, um, gets their glamour item for free. In addition to the bonuses, you see there's a bonus at 10, there's a bonus at 20. And if you have a lot of girlfriends, there's bonuses further as well. So you can even like continue. <laughs> Uh, we're going to set the race. The first person to get to 20 gets their glamour item for free. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> you can take your cell phone out and start writing. We're going to get, jump in and go to our colors. We just finished our skincare. We're going to do our five minute dash out the door diva look. Um, and remember, I said we have a follow up appointment, right? So, at your follow up, we're going to get to go a lot more in depth with colors, with eyeshadows, with eyeliners. Uh, with a lot of different options, but we're doing our five minute face today. So we're gonna do what's called our dash out the door. So we're gonna start with our eyeshadows um, and we're gonna be using cream eyeshadows is what you guys are gonna be using. 
And I love using the cream eyeshadows because they're just so quick and easy to do. Um, and they go on and they're crease proof, waterproof, and they last all day. So it's really, really easy. Um, do you want to be my model? Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is we have two colors. Now, when you look at your eyes, what you want to keep in mind is that light color goes on your lid and the brown color goes on the brow bone. Because light brings things out, dark makes things are seed, so black makes us look skinny. Uh, so we're going to put the light color on your lid to bring that out. We're going to put the brown or medium color on the brow bone to kind of push that back, which is going to make your eyes look bigger and more open. Um, and I like using the demo. This is our cream eye color brush. You can use the sponge tips, but the cream brush uh, really blends so much nicer. You know, again, and the, using the good tools makes a big difference. Um, and so I'm going to use a little bit of the cream color and just going to put this on the eyelid. So you're just going to use a little bit of that cream eyeshadow on the eyelid. That's, this is going to make them look bigger. So just on the lid, into the crease, but not above the crease, okay? And then I flip that over to the other side for the brown color. So just kind of the light on one side and the dark on the other side. And then put a little bit of the brown up here on the brow bone. And again, the nice part about this, you can put it on with a brush and then you can kind of take your finger and blend it together. So you're going to put the light on lid, brown on bone, and you're done. Super easy. So just go ahead and take your, put your light color on your lid, and then the brown color on the brow bone. Super nice. See how much bigger that eye looks compared to that one? Yeah, it looks bigger and more open, just because of how you put your color on. Um, now, when you have your follow-up appointment, we'll get to do a lot more with play with colors and add more. This is your basic, like I said, basic dash out the door look. So your light color is on one side, your dark color is on your other side. Whoops. 10 seconds. We're good. <laughs> so white on the lid, brown on the brow bone. No. <laughs> you only get to do one, you get to do the other one. The goal is that you get to learn how to do it. You know, and that's what you'll see in Mary Kay. So we're very much focused on teaching. You know, if I sit here and do everything for you, then you go home with a bag of stuff you don't know how to use. And that's what happens in a lot of places. And so that's where I love being able to do one side and you know let you play with the other side. And we have your follow-up appointment. I'll do more individual instruction too. So <laughs> you're great. Yep. Little brush, little finger. And do you see what a tiny bit it takes? I mean, I, I don't think you could use up a whole one of these. It would last you forever. Is it really last line? It comes in a lot of different colors, and this is really what I wear almost every day. I love the cream eyeshadows because they're just so simple and easy. And then we're going to go ahead and do your mascara. So go ahead and do your mascara. Take your mascara wand. Um, just open it up. A tip for the consultants, what you can do with your mascara is if you take your demo and you take some scissors and cut this part off, then there's no temptation from someone using this. Okay, so just I just learned that 16 years in business. I just learned that, so I'm going to teach y'all early. Um, so just take some scissors, cut that off, um, and then you always know it's your demo one. So you always take that, of course, we don't double dip, put it in there, twist. This is our ultimate mascara. What we'll be using, it's my personal favorite um, because it's our volumizing. So it volumizes, lengthens, thickens your lashes. You'll find ones you didn't know you had. So you always twist it, you never pump it, right? Because you know that gets air in your mascara and causes it to dry out faster. Okay. Always just twist. And how often do we change our mascara? Every three months. Three months. Yes, every three months. <laughs> it's one of, the, one of the main places that eye infections come from. So just take that twist it in there. And you just kind of shimmy it with your lashes. You shimmy it up across. We have several different formulas of mascara. And so when you have your follow-up appointment, uh, we can play with some of our other formulas if you want to. We just kind of take a little bit. You're going to do both eyes with it. You can do upper and lower. You can just do upper. It's really your preference. Uh, we also have a lash primer that makes your eyes look amazing. You can try that at your follow-up appointment. Uh, we even have a lash and brow building serum that makes your lashes grow or will make your brows grow. It is magical, 100% satisfaction guarantee. Uh, so you can test me on it. Uh, and it does not change your eye colors like other products do on the market <laughs> that make your lashes grow. This does not have any side effects at all. Um, so it really, really works. Just like love that, put that straight on, really easy. We'll do eyeliner at your follow-up appointment. So like I said, we're doing our dash out the door. Okay. Uh, we'll do brow pencil, I'll teach you how to make your brows wow uh, at your follow-up appointment as well. Like the mascara, good, yay. <laughs> it comes in a black or black-brown. I think all of y'all have black today, but we can do a black-brown. 
Um, we also have amazing, when we're on eye makeup, we have awesome oil-free eye makeup from Maybrand. You'll get to try this when you have your follow-up, um, but it is absolutely great. You know, you wanna take off your eye makeup every night, right, before you go to bed. Um, if you know, you can get eyelash mites. Go Google it. They're really scary. You don't want eyelash mites, okay? Uh, we call the eye makeup remover the critter getter. <laughs> so you'll never have eyelash mites. Um, and it's a dual face. So you shake it up and then it mixes and you just put that on. Now the eye makeup remover takes well, lots more than your eye makeup. It takes off eye makeup, great. It's also taking stains out of clothes. It's taking stuff off the wall. Um, it takes the sticky price tags off of your picture frames. Like you name it, eye makeup remover does it. So have one in your bathroom and one in your laundry room. It is awesome stuff. Um, you know, if your child decides to color their whole leg with a black Sharpie marker, that's the only thing that gets it on. So just in case that happens to you. Uh, <laughs> so there's our eyes, really quick and easy. Uh, then we're gonna do your cheeks with a little bit of our bronzer. So you should have a little, um, your little cotton ball with some bronzer on it. Here's your tip oh. for your cheek color, is I'm just gonna kinda start back here with the hairline and go one, two, three. See, I made three little dots. Flip it over to the blank side to blend it, just like that. Because you wanna start the darkest color back here and lighter here, because it goes, as it goes from light to dark, it gives lift to your face. Makes you look younger. So turn it over, one, two, three dots along your cheekbone. Flip it over to the blank side and blend it, just like that. Really easy. Again, the cotton ball is not the best. When you use a brush, it'll be look even better. <laughs> so just kind of dot it right along that cheekbone there and then just blend it back and forth. And this is our bronzing powder. It's really easy. You can use it all over your face as a bronzer or you can put it, you know, we're just using it as, as a quick cheek color. It just brings out your cheekbones. That's what you want to do is just kind of really add that pop of color, a little sun-kissed glow. Um, you, you don't want racing stripes <laughs> for blush, right? Just want it to be something that is very natural, really easy. And then for your lips, we're going to do a little lip gloss. Uh, so in your tray, you have two different colors you can pick between, or maybe right next to your tray, you can pick. I, I like to do the beach bronze. Um, or the Fancy Nancy. Um, so you can pick those and what the key for consultants when you're putting it on their tray is you want to open it up and you want to not just dot it because it won't come off and you want to actually kind of roll this so it kind of squeezes it out of the little sponge chip applicator. So it's going to come off a lot easier. Okay. Um, so you can use a little more neutral or if you want a little bit of color. Sometimes I'll go ahead and put both colors in everyone's tray or sometimes I'll just let them pick or give everyone one color. Okay, so go ahead and pick a lip gloss. Take your finger and just kind of put that on your lip color. Um, we do have a lot of fabulous lipsticks and lip liners where you get to try at your follow-up appointment. And this is just our little gloss and go, quick and easy. Now, even with me talking, that took less than five minutes, right? I mean, how fast? Again, that adds a whole extra 60 seconds <laughs> to your skincare routine, okay? Um, and your lips feel nice and soft and smooth from the satin lips, right? So you're just rubbing them together. It feels really, really nice. Um, we have, do have a lot of options when it comes to your lip colors, and uh, we can play with a lot of those at your follow-up. But that that's your dash out the door. I mean, that was super, super easy. Um, now I want you to pick up your mirror, pick up your mirror out of your tray, and then hold it out an arm's length away from you, okay? Because this is how everyone sees you is an arm's length away. Um, you know, we look at ourselves like this, but if someone is this close to us, they don't care about our makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so an arm's length away is how everyone else sees you, all right? You know, and you hold it up a little bit, then you look under. You don't want to look down, because then it gives you double chin. So you always look up. Um, but look at arm's length away, um, and take a good look at everything all together. You know, notice the difference between the right and the left side of your face, right? Notice it still looks softer and smoother on that right side. Notice your eye area. You can tell the eye that you put the eye cream on. Even more noticeable now. Um, your colors. This is a very easy, natural, everyday look. Doesn't look like you have much on, you know? Um, and then it's really, really looks so, so nice. So now my favorite is we get to do compliment time. So we get to say what we like best on each person. So we need to go around the table and we can tell each other how gorgeous you are. Doesn't that sound good? <laughs> so we'll start over here and just shoot out what's your favorite thing, your, your neighbor next to you or across from you can like pick their favorite thing. Like I notice your eyes. I think your eyes just really pop. They look really great. And the foundation makes your skin look totally flawless. What was your favorite, you think? I really like the lip gloss. The lip gloss, yes, yes. What do you think is the best on her? I like the lip gloss. The lip gloss. And the mascara. And the mascara. Brings her eyelashes. Yeah. Brings, brings out those eyelashes. I told you, you'll find eyelashes you didn't know you had, right? <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate mascara. <laughs> All 
All right, what about over here? What's your all's favorite on her? On, on you. Oh, yes, on you. Oh, yeah, you just look fabulous. I like mascara on you a lot, too. Yeah. And the foundation actually looks really nice and even. You know, it doesn't look like you have anything on, uh, but it just kind of makes your skin look all flawless. And that's what you went with it, with the right foundation. What was your favorite? You think? Oh, <laughs> Getting kiss of the lips now. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Very good. All right, Alicia, what's our, what's our favorite? Alicia, I, I, I like your skin. I think it just looks super soft and smooth, which I know you're already been using the Mary Kay products, so you can always tell the difference as well. Um, what else do y'all like? Like the lip gloss on you? I think that looks really good. The little color. What was your favorite? I like the under eye. Under eye. Yes, that was one of the things that we talked about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you tried this one before? No. The Birmingham eye cream. Oh, I don't like it. There's another one that's a more advanced version. It's the one I use. That's part of the repair set. Um, that is even stronger, and I like that one because it has a little metal ball on the end that you rub that end with it, and so it is awesome. So this is great. Firming eye cream is a good starting eye cream, but the other one is even better. You'll get even more benefits from it. So that's the eye renewal cream for us older ladies. Would you? Twice a day? Yes, morning and night. Mm -hmm. Just like your moisturizer. When you do your moisturizer on your face, you're doing the eye cream on your eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes, great question. I have a question. Um, if you use the eye revitalizer uh -huh. and the firming mm -hmm. eye cream, can mm -hmm. you use them both twice a day? Mm -hmm. or yes, one? use them both twice a day. Mm -hmm. okay, fabulous. Um, but what I did, I switched to the Tomwise Repair. This is our, the Volu Firm eye cream that took the place of those two products. Okay. So that's what this does, is it has a little metal ball on the end, so that as you it on and then you must use that to massage it around um, getting off the subject on the video but that's all right this is this is my favorite eye cream because it like, gives you the most bang for your buck that's what this one does um, and so it has this actual the little metal ball at the end it's called a Zaymac that's what boxers use and you know I'm sure all the big boxing fans know about that mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's a zinc aluminum and copper and so it's what they put on when they get hit you know it's, mm -hmm. it's cold metal so it instantly keeps it from bruising and swelling that's what this does it's the same thing it's always cold um, so you have the little boxer secret. So you just squirt that out and then use the little metal ball to massage it in. So it's gonna really work on puffiness and darkness as well as the anti-aging like this one does. So this one is more fine lines and toning. This one's gonna add extra with the even more working on puffiness as well. So that's, I like the volume firm eye renewal cream. Okay, what's our favorite down here? On you, gorgeous lady, you're so far. I, mean, I, I like that smile. <laughs> no, your skin looks nice and smooth. The good match on the foundation. I think it's just definitely your perfect color. What was your favorite that we tried? The moisturizer. The moisturizer, so yes. Mm -hmm. Super soft and smooth. Yeah, it is. Now make sure you remember on the back of your profile card your wish list. Okay, so you can write, you know, Miracle said, if you like the Miracle, we did the microderm. You write Ultimate, I'll know that means all the skincare, you know, or satin lips. And then we just, you can just write eyes, lips, cheeks, you know, and we'll know what colors those were. So you can make sure you mark those on there as well. 